up guys, Metal Shop TV here. We are at Brutal Asshole 2016 and I'm sitting here with the legend Steve Zetro from Exodus. How are you doing man? Great, how are you? I'm cool. Um, how has your day been so far? Uh, we got here a couple hours ago, just kind of walked around the festival, looked at it, watched animals as leaders. They were yeah. killer. Yeah. Great band. So I got to see one band so far yeah, today. Looking forward to seeing Black Dahlia and Immolation, Gojira, and of course Ministry. You're good friends? Yeah, we know. We play with all those bands and all. You always see each other on the festivals. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we are some of the elder statesmen on these tours, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so we know everybody. Okay, cool. So I know your band is playing a lot of shows. Uh, how do you cope with that uh, busy schedule? Does it take something special to be prepared for every show? Uh, if you like what you do, I don't think you have to. Yeah. I like what I do, so I look forward to going. I can't wait until 8 o'clock tonight when I walk out on there and there's a big old pit going on and they're just going crazy. That's why we do this. That's why we go through all the hassles of all the travels and everything you can so that you can, uh, you can do this. So do you have some special like uh, tips for, for singers to stay fresh? Or it's just to excite. Sleep every night. Don't try to push too hard. You know what I mean. And relax. You can't party. You know you got to kind of not drink, not do drugs. You know, stay up late. Rest is everything. Getting sleep every night is everything. Uh, I also know that your band is playing like a worldwide, all over the planet. So what has been the most special or exotic place you've played? Well, we've been all through South America, so we've played in the Amazon and from everywhere from there to St. Petersburg and Moscow, so, and then places like here today in Czech Republic and, you know, Slovenia. And, and is there Hungary. a place that made a special impact on you personally? I think they're all special in their own way, you know, being able to do this and get to do this life and be able to tour and play live and do what you dreamed to do when you were a kid. Uh, I think you can't never take advantage of that, and I never do. I love uh, the fact that uh, that I do this, I get to do this for a living. Yeah, that's cool. Um, your last album came two years ago, or yes. so something like that. Um, October will be two years, yes. October will be yes. two years. And it was uh, the first album with you back in the squad. Correct. So, how would you describe those two years? Uh, they've been the great. I, I, it's been better these two years than it was the first eight, initial eight, and the two from 2002 to 2004. There's no substance, there's, there's no element, there's no ego. It's just all about going out and playing Exodus songs and having a good time with the crowd live. So we can say that this is your happiest time with Exodus? Yes, I would have to say yes, definitely. Yeah, so it's cool. Um, I would, you, you are a big thrash metal legend, so how, how, is it, how does it feel to be a thrash metal musician in 2016? How, how do, does it feel in compared to like when you started? What has changed the most? Well, everything has changed the most. Social media, everything. Before we used to tape trade, yeah. now you can see your favorite band on your telephone. If you have Wi-Fi, you're fine. So a lot of things have changed, but I, I don't think metal fans have ever changed you know they still love their metal hard and heavy you know and even though there are great new bands like you know like animals as leaders and black dahlia murder that have come after the fact uh, metal has to stay fresh to survive or it will die so that's why it's great to see new bands like that but as long as the older bands are still putting out great music it's like i i love the new anthrax I, I think Dystopia from Megadeth is really good. The new, Meg uh, the new Death Angel is really heavy too. So I think the old school bands that have been around as long as we have are still producing good music, you know. Yeah, I feel like there's still an incredible I mean, Blood In, Blood Out is a good, good album. Yeah. You know, I, I've heard, because I wrote songs on uh, Brotherhood of the Snake in the New Testament. It's testament. You're gonna listen to it and love it. It's testament. You know, it's what you love about testament. So, I, I think as long as the older school bands are still putting out quality stuff, I think that metal fans, heavy never gets told. Heavy will never get old. And 
I think that the great thing about Thrash is that you know when you're a listener, you, you've got an idea what you're gonna get. Yes. The, the, the quality is constant and the... Uh, sure. And the style. The musicianship, the style, it's, the it's social great. topics. And everything. you always know what you're gonna get. And maybe that's why Thrash Metal is still at the top. Relevant. Relevant. Definitely. 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 Okay, so I know Gary isn't here with you. Right. He's playing with Slayer. Yes. But uh, how are you working on the new music when he isn't around? When he can, well, we actually have decided that come after the first of the year, he's not working. As far as we know now, he's not working with Slayer. And uh, we are going to get together and start writing a new album. So we know we have to. So he's going to be writing with you a new album? He's always he, of course he is Exodus. I, I know, we wouldn't I know. do it without him. It I would know. be sacrilege to write or record a record without Gary Holt. And of course he's a, he's a part of Exodus, but do you see him as a, a touring member? or? Uh, yeah. Well, it, it, it's, it's just ironic that Slayers and Exodus' tour cycles ran simultaneous, you know? They put a record out nine months after we did, you know? It was like... In, music, in bands like ours, we go three, four years off of that, you know what I mean? So, it's, 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 it's you know, we're only doing, we know that Blood and Blood Out is out in uh, October of 2014 and it's time now for us to get back in the studio and write new Exodus songs. Um, so the timeline for the new Exodus album looks like it's gonna be sometime in 2017? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I mean, again, you can't, promise anything with music yeah you, you know? can't rush it and i have and, and again our one of our our main member is playing in another very very legendary credible band and we love the fact that he does that so i i i can't push him into it but the discussion between the four of us and he knows it as well and our management and our agents and the people that work with us all know that we need to Get another record going. It's time. It's time to do so. And then we're not we're aware of that. Okay, so the fans can look forward to it. Yes, sir. Okay. So since we are talking about thrash metal, uh, I want to know from you, what would you pick as a free, I don't know if it's the best, but most important thrash metal records of all time? Uh, Rain and Blood, Bonded by Blood. They're all blood. And um, um, I'm going to say Ride the Lightning. So the old school Metallica, yeah, that's cool. Um, Let me kill Mr. Play this festival before. He has a special mem memorial place in here this year. I know already that you met the guy. You are you were friends. Um, is there a special story you have about him that you've never said in any interview? There's so many. I think the thing that I always remember was that their production manager or their manager will always came into our dressing room and he would always say, hey guys, Lemmy wants to say hello to you guys. And so we would always come up to him. He always wanted to acknowledge that we knew he was there, that I want to say hi to the Exodus guys. And that always like, oh man, it's God, he's just a legend and he wants to make sure that he says hello to us. So those are always, I mean, that story of any, it's, it was something that was always special to me and any place we played with 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 motorhead and again we started playing with motorhead in 85 it was like the first time so and we've ended up on festivals like this one with him many 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 times over the years we did a tour of south america with just motorhead and exodus so we've spent much times with with him and mickey and phil and even worsel even worse and even filthy and and I remember I seen them when Ozzy put out Dire, or, uh, Blizzard of Oz and Ozzy came out and they were the opening band for Ozzy. It was in San Francisco and I was like, they were so loud and I was like, what is this? And it was Motorhead. So th I think that's a beautiful thing that the, the bigger legend or a uh, yeah, bigger legend, the more like warm hearted he is like. That's from my... Uh, oh, I agree. Experience. He was, he, you know, he loved his people. He loved his bands. He loved his fans. He loved this lifestyle. He loved Jack Daniels. He loved cigarettes. There's certain things you got with Lemmy. Okay, so the last question is, how many Circle Pits are we going to see tonight? There better be at least one continuous Circle Pit 
But uh, we'll see how crazy the Czech fans are. I'll say this, the set is locked and loaded with uh, up-tempo thrash numbers to beat your ass with. So, so I'll just say it's, a, it's quite very violent Exodus set you're going to see tonight. Very violent. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Steve, Metal Shop TV.